Yay. Yay. Apparently Spike Chunsoft also localized uh, 999 and its games. Yeah, these are actually that really similar really games, and I hear the creators are like friends. So. Yeah. I mean, like, the only difference is that um, I would say 999 is a little more serious, in a sense. Like, well. Well, yeah, these are high schoolers. Don't expect it to be like. Yeah, it's not like super duper sil silly, but it's not like completely serious either. I mean, like, 999 had funny moments, but it was more like you were doing puzzle rooms, and if you kept trying to click and get hints, they would just make some really witty remarks. Mm. Stuff like hey, that. Um, the evil am I audible? Yes, we can hear you. I can hear you. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, corn cob. Hit your back. It's a baguette. <laughs> oh, really? I, I, I always... No. Thought... According to the Abridged like... series, it's a baguette. Uh, On his oh, head. Like every time... I, I remember when I was on Tumblr one time, and there was like... There was like one of those soda machines, and somebody just put a corn cob in the ice dispenser, and they said, "Is this the sign that Mondo's gang has been there?" <laughs> and everybody was. Oh yeah, hope is very important in this game. Uh, the power of hope. Why? Well, because everyone's like dying. Well, because like despair and hope are some of the themes that just kind of keep popping up in these games. Mm -hmm. Where the protagonists are kind of the ideal of hope, and then the antagonists are the ideal of despair. And they kind of, and usually the games will play with that, depending on, you know, which one you're in. And so obviously the first game plays that one the most straight, and then the rest are kind of a little more variant in the interpretation of that. But it's kind of I cool. I think it's funny how when you say Just one despair, of those... you can call it despair. Despair? <laughs> Get it? I, I'm sorry. No, I, it's okay. You know. I make worse puns. Uh, I, I know. I actually okay, had so, a friend um, who almost punched me for bad puns. Okay, so... Luckily, there's... Oh, go on. <laughs> Guy on the left is the main character. That is our character, by the like way. Like gray hair? Nick yeah. Nog. Um, Makoto Nayagi. Perfect. Brown hair. Um, Guy on the right is... him affectionately as Nick as what? You've never heard Nagy called Nignog? Nignog? No. Oh, well that's a nickname I've heard for Nagy from time to time, is Nignog. Oh, right! Uh, hi! <laughs> Hello. I am Noah. Should I call myself by my real name? Sure, why not? If you want to go by your real name. I'm Unlost Frost. I go I'm by that thing online. I am Maka. Yes. Hello. And this is Dan Game Room Bagel. Um, Did you say fruit bagel? Room bagel. Room were bagel? you around? You were definitely around for that meme. What bagel? Room bagel. Um, I don't were... think I remember that one actually. Okay, so the meme is that Dongan Ronpa is such. An insane name to type out that it always gets autocorrected, so it ends up be so it ends up becoming like weird things like damn it room bagel. Oh yeah. Well, I also I and um. Dang it, Ron dang, Paul. Memes. Yeah, dang it, like, Ron people Paul. Just spell it was another like, one. Like uh, diamond Randy or something. And, you know, and everybody would know what it is because the two weird words that start with D and R. We have background if stuff. That should all be no good. There's no movement, Bob. I assume I am flying a spaceship until told otherwise. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh my god. You want to know who voices Hagakure? Who? Kaiji Tang. Do you know what else he does? Who? He does, um... He did Yamoto from Devil Survivor 2 Record Breaker. Oh, really? And he also... I remember him more... Not for that, but for... He, he was playing Skullgirls with the Skullgirls devs, and he kept screaming Republican car the whole time. And right. this is what I know him for. I have so many questions. Okay. Well, let's... Cindy, what do you think? I'm just confused. <laughs> We're just talking about VAs. Don't worry. Okay, um... Uh-huh. I said coin flip. Eh. Alright. 
here. I have um, I have a phone. I'll throw it into the air, and if the case lands up, don't, we'll do English. Don't throw your and phone. It's indestructible. It's don't worry. No matter how right, much money you have, up, don't throw English. your phone. English. I I just threw it. Yeah, case landed up. English. I have to okay. Bounce on the bed. Yes. He's tied. Oh, something. For the most part, he's starting. So. Oh, he's about Bye. To Oh, dear. There he goes. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Planetary bodies are making me uncomfortable. Oh. So, we're in high school. At the center of the world. Wake up, go to school, save the world. Yep. There it is. You, got, you had to zoom in Such for it. Such a high school. That is a really big high school. We have one lone tree Despite in our- of Mark's main we, character. We have one lone tree in our backfield, by the way. <laughs> and it's surrounded by dirt. It's, it's actually a... been a while since I've, like, been into Danganronpa. Yeah, it's an old like, game. Um, I have it no was idea really, what I'm getting into. It was kind of big in it's Japan. It's a murder mystery. So, okay. um, but it got even bigger when it came over to America. Yeah, because of um, because there was a something awful let's play of it, and so yeah. that's when everybody back actually found Japan. out about it, and that's when it got big. Um, yeah, back in Japan, it was popular. Now, oh boy, they actually didn't expect it to get this popular. So yeah. they good for them, I guess. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this school is where the best of the best go to. But it's a high school. It is a high Everybody, school. I think wait, it is has this a like, title. Is this the Asian yeah. high school kind of word for high school, or it's like actually college? No, it is a high school. No, it's well. The thing with Asian high schools is just the grades are different. So like, in, they don't have three, year, four years of high school. They have three, and that kind of stuff. Okay, but it's still a high school. Um, yes, this is an actual. Like high school. School. This is an actual high school. It is. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Um, but yeah, this is the super elite high school. Um, everybody has a title that they do. They're like the best in whatever field they're interested in. Like they all have talents. And then they go to this school. And once they graduate, they're like considered the absolute best in the whole world. Okay, but yeah, this is Hope's Peak, which is built to raise hope in the nation's future. Do you see a recurring theme here? I see bright gold letters. <laughs> Such hope. Are bolded. Hope is going to be very important. 100% hope. Yeah, you need two things to attend the school. You need to already be attending high school, so no freshmen, apparently. And you have to be the very best at what you do. Yep. So no only okay people. <laughs> yeah, no okay people. If you're okay, then you go into the reserve course and you're not considered actually a student at this school. Which is I thought the reserve super, course was only brought up in the second game. Yeah, it is, but like that's how that's when you actually find out it exists. It's not like it's something entirely new. Oh yeah. It's always there. It's just second game, they actually mention it. Yeah. Like I was just the old high school, they don't actually have the name of it on their insignia. Go any farther. I guess I should introduce myself. Oh, so my name's Makoto Nagi. Nagi. Makoto Nagi. So you can't hear it, but I'm hearing the English voice right now, and it's kinda. It could it's be English? better for him specifically. Uh, it's honestly, like the only like. Whenever I hear Makoto, I immediately my brain just jumps to fifty percent off. I'm getting, I'm getting oh, flashbacks yes. to How to Train Your Dragon with Young Hiccup. Oh dear. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. He's just jinxing himself. Well, given you're the pro tag, I expect you to survive until at least the last chapter. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he did preparation in quotation marks. What I relate to him already. Preparation. I can make anything like my preparation involves an energy drink and not enough food. Okay, they went. Okay. Look at the girl on the far, far right. 
and tell yeah, me they did not uh, mess up her picture. She forgot her shirt. They messed she up her proportions, and her face is a little, it little looks bad. Like they took a picture half way through her blinking on stage, <laughs> and she was just not in a good position. And that's why she's not the ultimate. <laughs> also, she oh. forgot one of her stockings. It looks like. Oh uh, yeah, she is. It's factable asymmetry. No, because everybody eyes. else has it. No, no, wait. I can see it. I can see it. It's just really shadowed. Okay. Oh. Um. Yeah. Girl on the far, far right, not having a good day. Once again, that's why she's not the ultimate. Wait, yeah. look at what that says. How to show 20 more centimeter height, Heidi. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I love Google Translate. I love it so oh. much. I don't think they meant for us to stay on this scene this long, so... Born at a half right. sub. <laughs> it is not believed. Model underpopular. Alright, let's just keep going. Oh. That is the best. She oh. keeps on evolving. Go make it okay, that actually kind of makes sense. Yeah, if she was Wait, a Pokemon. Wait, look at the top right. Top right. Top right. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is this eye glowing? Like, it's awesome. Um. It looks like they just ripped him straight out of the room. I'm kind of getting that feeling, yeah. Or he's in the zone, according to Kuroko no Basket. That hey! also happens whenever they go into the basketball zone. I've been in the zone before and my eyes did not start glowing. <laughs> Unless they didn't, no one told me. Uh, apparently you weren't like anime enough. Saiyan, but not quite going Super Saiyan? That is not- like, like that is that, nowhere close to Super Saiyan. Like it's halfway Super Saiyan. That is not like halfway Super, Super Saiyan. Looks like Gender Bench Cinder from Ruby. <laughs> That's what he looks like. Yeah. Noah, you just weren't anime enough to get the eye glowing. Apparently. No one is ever anime enough. Except this guy, apparently. The ultimate gambler. The ultimate fanfic writer. Wait. Oh yeah, they they had to change the it to ultimate oh. fanfic creator in the English version. In the Japanese <laughs> oh, yeah. version, he draws doujinshis. Doujinshis, yeah. yeah. Oh, so um, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. So it's like the ultimate manga stuff? Oh. Yeah. Okay. That makes... Look a lot more sense. The ultimate fan artist. Yeah. I think they just changed it because cultural things, like it would have made, like, cause Dojin, she doesn't translate like verbally very well. Mm -hmm. Cause then you just put ultimate fan uh, manga maker and that just not as catchy. They could have called it the ultimate fan art maker. Yeah, they could have called him the ultimate fan art maker. They could have called him the like ultimate comic creator or something like that. Yeah. yeah. But um, they chose fanfic instead to appeal to the younger crowd. Plus, it's considerably more entertaining. <laughs> they held a lottery. Just a lottery. Yeah. So Basically, he got lucky. Yeah, yeah, and he became the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> well, but that title gets passed on, because there's actually... Isn't there a guy in the second game who also has that title? Well, yes, but again, um... The there is... is the annual. There are differences, because, um... Like, I feel like essentially, ultimate, like, also can mean okay. that, like, wait, you're um, more than just like getting that. The guy in the second game, um, he is actually older than them. Oh, yeah, he was the lottery winner before Makoto. Yeah, so the characters so. in the second game are older than the ones in this game. So by the time the people in this game come in, it's most likely that they had already graduated. Or we're just coming yeah. into the school. And yeah, so, so that's then, why there's more than one. Yeah, so the title just gets passed to whoever's the light, the next lottery winner. Yeah, because you have to be, like, incredibly lucky to win the lottery to go to the ultimate school in the nation. And yeah. probably the world. So he is super high school level lucky student. Powers. 
<laughs> it is sort of protag powers. All I'm thinking now is that one card in 100% orange juice that's just called protagonist's privilege. What? Is that what he had? That's... Like, I, there was a it's a game I played. There was a card called protagonist's privilege. Does that does ne does Nagi have that? Does he just have protagonist's, protagonist's have... privilege? Well, I wouldn't say he has protagonist's privilege. I wouldn't. I would not say he has protagonist privilege. I would not. Or like protagonist impending doom based on the name. Yeah. We murder. already know this is a murder mystery. He does not have protagonist privilege. Alright, so Mr. Nagy's standing in front of the school. Yep. And he felt lost. Because he's like the school being literally directly in front of him. He's emotionally lost, not physically lost. <laughs> starting a new life at a new school. Swirl! And then everything right, turned so. into metal? I don't know. And that's how you start school. Walk in, show up early, pass out, and then life ends. No, you're kind of ruining all the dramatic, like, tension going on here with your chewing. Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> it's like... He dramatically passed out, effect. and then I just hear crunching in my ear. <laughs> That's the problem with fake pizza. 